So many people say, can we afford it? And my answer to that is, we cannot not afford to do this now. What to do with the crumbling high school? That's what Burlington leaders want voters to consider come election day. Some of those pushing for a change are students themselves. The other day we uh, had water gushing down one of the ramps in the hallway. The BHS re-envisioning committee wants voters to give the go-ahead on a major high school renovation. It would cost $70 million to overhaul the campus. The committee says students and teachers need both better and safer classrooms. Many spaces designed for 21st century learning. We're in the 21st century. We need to get up with the times as well. But the plan includes a real cost. That $70 million price tag will bump up education property taxes by 300 bucks for the average home. I think we need to acknowledge this, this is not a yes vote that comes uh, without sacrifice. Mayor Moreau Weinberger was on the fence on whether the city could afford it. There are other projects in the works, like a renovation of the city's wastewater infrastructure. But there's a new limit on how much money Burlington can borrow, and the school renovation will have a project manager. It is results in a school that we can proud of, that really meets the educational goals that we have for, for our, our kids and our community, um, and ensures that the money is, is well managed. And there's still time to find out more about what the school district is looking to do here. They've got uh, three tours set up so you can see the current state of Burlington High School as well as a town hall where people can come, ask questions, find out everything they want all before Election Day. That's coming up on November 6th. For now, we're live in Burlington. Tom Garris, NBC5 News.